Hello, EC brothers and sisters. Uh, grace and peace to all of you. Uh, I am David Boos. I'm a member of the prayer mobilization team and also of St. Paul EC Church in York. And I'm joined today by Edgar Avalos. Hi, everybody. And um, Edgar is uh, one of our worship leaders and also a prayer meeting leader for both the English and Spanish churches. And so uh, what we'd like to share with you today um, is talking about when you go deeper into your devotions and prayer time, how important worship is to that time. Amen. So, um, so I'll, I'll start sharing a little bit about, um, there's a book here I have called Worship that was done by Michael W. Smith, um, someone who we know quite well. And um, he shared some really key thoughts about, about worship and, and how important that is to our lives. So one of them um, is worship is submission and thinking about how we prepare ourselves to come to God, that we're submitting mm -hmm. um, all parts of our life yes. to him, giving that to him. And that's a really good place to start. Mm hmm with God and with worship. Um, also that um, worship is taking time to be with God, giving God time. And isn't that a big part of prayer and showing God that he is, you know, our father, our Lord Jesus, Amen. that we want to be with him. Amen. And that is a form of worship. And another part is uh, worship is what we were created for. Um, God, in, in all his wisdom and making us, that he made us, that we would respond to him, that we would know him, that we would worship him for, for all he, all his love for us and love back, give love back to him. So that's how we want to come to prayer. Just wanting to tell him about, you know, our love for him and thanking him. Yeah. And lastly, is, um, worship is a response. Um, a lot of times we don't really come up with with worship god does something in our lives right yeah. just, and we understand. respond like thank you god like oh that's so amazing god right. so um well we're gonna turn it over um to some questions i have for edgar because i know about how how he's very devoted to his prayer and his relationship with god so yeah so first question i have is um so when you're you're going into prayer, like you're like, what are ways that you prepare yourself or prepare your mind for worshiping God? Well, David, you know, like we were talking, it's uh, first of all, it's just having the mindset and the time set apart um, and knowing that all things are possible mm -hmm. with God and nothing is impossible for him. And I've noticed that when I don't put that ahead of me, it just, it goes the wrong way. I really, really just have the mindset that I know that God is going to answer me. And as I'm loyal in that, I know that he's going to be loyal on his behalf. So I get on my knees, David, as... Just a good example as uh, the way Daniel in um, chapter 6, um, he sets a very good example. He prays three times a day and he gets on his knees right by his window. And I do the same, you know, I, I, I learn from that and I've seen the, 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 his greatness and how he answers prayers. And that's what I mainly do when I start. Yeah. So, um. Well, when, when you've gone through difficult times, you know, in your life, which I know you have, so what, um, how do you still come to God with worship? How are you still able to do that? Well, if you, if you follow along with me or even just, mm -hmm. um, listen, it's in De Deuteronomy chapter 31, I believe, Deuteronomy mm -hmm. Chapter 31. Yeah. Deuteronomy chapter 31. Mm -hmm. And it was in 
verse 8. It says, The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid and do not be discouraged. That's one of the, 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 the biggest um, things within my heart that speaks to me every time I remember this promise. That just as I was um, a while ago praying uh, in my room and um, remembering just what he has dug me out of. What he has taken me out of, all the, the suffering, especially from the passing away of my mother and difficulties that I was going through. There's nothing better than remembering Amen. that his word says that he will go before you. And that gives me the assurance, that gives me the safety that I need to trust in Him and, and be loyal to Him and be faithful to Him because there is nothing greater than to know that God is going to be with me in times of need and times of help. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and I, 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 get, I sit there and I, and I cry out to Him and, and I pour out my heart to Him and and yeah. just listen to his voice, that silent voice that you can hear in in, in your ear when you mm -hmm. when you cry out to, to his to his name. Right, and you have that that trust, and you, you kind of worship him by saying, "I, I trust you, God." I, I trust, trust him, God. and and that that's exactly right. When mm -hmm. when I open the Bible and I and I start reading the the Word of God, um, and then I run out of words. When I run out of words, I turn on my music and I just start worshiping him and allowing the, the worship just to flow through me. And, and as I'm uh, worshiping him, it start, even the words through worship start speaking to me. And then I start having more words um, of worship towards him and thankfulness and, and gratefulness towards him because he restores me. He restores my soul as I worship him. And, and I... I have no words you, to say at the end. You're a different person. And when, it, when it you, changes you, you believe it or not. It mm -hmm. does. It mm -hmm. it changes you. It, it it restores your soul. It it gives you a like you feel like a whole new start. You feel like the strength that comes in that that you didn't have and you start feeling this peace within you and before you know it you just it it, it changes you. Even in moments when I sit down and Mm -hmm. And pray with my little sister. We say, we we even spoke about this together. That it, when you stop praying and and you get it all out and you and you set it right before the Lord, and all of a sudden you feel like weight just lifts off of you, and you feel this joy, you feel this happiness. And my little sister too mm -hmm. says, "We need this. We need to pray. We need to." It comes from God because it comes from from Him exactly. Amen. Amen. So, uh, so my last request <laughs> you is uh, if you could give a couple key thoughts or key verses that kind of tell how important worship is with God. Okay, well, more than anything, it's in John, it would be in John chapter 4, verses 19 and 26, which I'm not going to read it all, but more than anything, it says, worshipers will worship my father in spirit and in truth for they are the kind of worshipers of the father that father seeks god is spirit and his worshipers must worship in spirit and in truth and that is one of the biggest things that i i believe that he is well pleased when we worship together when we worship because it's relational it's a relationship oh, between me and you and between me and David mm -hmm. as a body of Christ within the church and not just at the church, but as well when, when I do it here with my with my own family. It it uplifts you and it, it lifts you up to a place where 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 nothing matters other than just God Himself. And it's the love that just comes out of you and it flows out of you because of how grateful you are for everything that he has done with inside in your heart and and when he speaks to you more than anything in your heart all, all the the flaws all the bad stuff that that we carried and when when you just worship yes. it take nothing else matters other than him
nothing mm -hmm. matters. Mm -hmm. But that that is how I that's, that's uh, a, a key a key a key thing that to focus on the the relationship with focus him. on the relationship focus, focus, focus on him. <laughs> and being loyal and right. faithful to him because a lot that's of times true. you know David we we get so stuck in mm -hmm. in all these things that we get surrounded we are loyal to the other mm -hmm. things we we go to this and we take our time with this but when we set this time apart for for our lord and mm -hmm. when we discipline ourselves more than anything to pray and to worship mm -hmm. things change your life changes i mean yes. everything inside of you changes I mean, these other negativity stuff that, that can change you towards, I mean, having bad thoughts or the things that you go through at work or you have difficulty with this um, certain um, mm. people, you know, it can really get it out of you. But when you focus on worship and in right. prayer to the Lord, it's completely different. Mm. It's, a, it's a power that we don't understand, but we know that it's there and we know that it's our God. And that yes, he is only, present, and his presence God is well known that. more than yes. anything. And yes. it's a beautiful thing. And brothers and sisters, that's that's what we want to pray for you, or hope that you can experience. Once again, our, our hope is that you will have that joy that, that Edgar t spoke about in your prayer time and, and in your worship of God. So have a great day, brothers and sisters, and Amen. we hope to... See you sometime and pray together. Yeah, definitely. So, God bless uh, you. Amen. Amen.